Let's head down south. Let's go to Gainesville, Florida. The Gators are building some momentum down there. Billy Napier, they got the 16th ranked class in America, but they are looking to move up with a couple big additions. And they have some big names on the board. Let's break it down with Steve Wiltfong. Uh, Five-star wide receiver, Caleb Cunningham. He was at UF back in January. I thought, okay, this might be a courtesy visit. He needs to come back in the summer. Well, he's coming back much sooner than that. He'll be there this weekend. How big of a threat, how legitimate of a threat is UF to landing five-star wide receiver Caleb Cunningham? Well, he's got Florida in his top 12. It's a school Mm -hmm. that he has interest in. And we've seen Florida go into the state of Mississippi and have some success. Caden Daniels being the most recent, a running back that's going to play in the spring game this weekend. You know, Mississippi State is certainly a program that's one of the top contenders for Caleb Cunningham. Jeff Levy and company have done a fantastic job of getting in early with him and building that strong rapport. Um, Bama, he has an official visit locked in with Alabama. Florida State, he always feels at home in Tallahassee. Uh, but Florida, a return visit, like you said, he definitely has a genuine eye on on the Gators and looks forward to getting back up there and spending more time with Coach Billy Napier and his staff. Mm, yeah, another big man on campus, literally a big man on campus, is Jalen Wiggins. He goes 6'5", 235 pounds. He plays at Rickards High School up there in Tallahassee. So he's from Tallahassee, committed to the Florida Gators. Uh, He was back at UF last week, and I know Florida State's trying to flip him. Does he have any other visits on tap? How do you consider his commitment to UF right now? Well, he's keeping other schools warm. So anytime Florida can get him back to campus, it's a big thing. He was recently at Florida State. you got schools like Stanford poking yeah. around on him. So he's got the creme de la creme academic schools, creme de la creme football schools, all pushing for him. So Florida, one of their top prospects that already have in the fold to just get him back around the swamp, feeling why he's a Gator is big for, for this coaching staff. All right, number six safety, Hilton Stubbs from Jacksonville Mander, and he'll be back in Gainesville this weekend. Uh, he shocked a lot of teams, a lot of teams in the South when he committed to USC a couple weeks ago. Uh, Do you think UF still has a shot here? Well, he's definitely keeping the door open for several schools. Miami Mm -hmm. just blew him away last weekend. So we'll see if Florida is able to do that this weekend. You know, there's still a lot of suitors around this recruitment, and it's Florida's opportunity to uh, show him why the Gators are are the program for him. And and there was a time early in his process where Florida was considered the one to beat. So he's definitely got a lot of love for the Gators. Yeah, we'll see if Gators can circle back on that one. Uh, Before we get you out of here on the Gator talk, I want to know your thoughts right now on where UF stands with quarterback Ryan Montgomery. We talked so much about these QB dominoes. We're going to see another big one fall on Sunday in Houston Longstreet. So Ryan Montgomery's time is coming up soon. How do you feel about him as it relates to UF? Well, he had another fabulous visit to Gainesville. Time spent with Graham Mertz. You know, of course, Ryan O'Hara, Billy Napier, he feels extremely comfortable in Gainesville. It's an atmosphere and culture that he really vibes with. And he believes this coaching staff is one that can get Florida ripping and roaring. And and he's enjoyed film sessions with Coach O'Hara and just uh, really thought that Graham Mertz was a first class guy. And so he likes the just the culture again around Florida. Now he's going to go to South Carolina spring game, and that might be it. That might be the last visit. Okay. So the Gamecocks have been considered the one to beat uh, for a lot of this process, but Florida and Georgia are in the thick of this one down the stretch. The Bulldogs had him on campus a couple weeks ago. Mike Bobo, Mike Bobo, offensive coordinator, has poured a lot of time into him. But it's Dow Logan's and, and uh, South Carolina's turn to get him back and, and remind him what he loves so much about the Gamecocks. And I know he's extremely high on South Carolina as well. So South Carolina's spring game weekend will be a big one in the Ryan Montgomery recruitment. Then he'll come home, talk things out with his family. But Florida definitely put their best foot forward when they had him on campus last weekend. It was a big visit. Yeah, and you know we're getting down to it. There's only six quarterbacks in the top 25 that remain uncommitted, so Ryan Montgomery's time is coming soon. Gator fans, let me know how we are feeling. Let me know. Comment section below. You guys got the number 16 ranked class in America, but we know Florida Gator recruiting heats up in the summer, and it looks like there's a lot of big names on the board. Let me know how we're feeling. Comment section below.